Good morning, or depending on you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name's Ross, and as always, told out of Oyster Radio. So today, we're going to be taking a look at a really weird Japanese deck. A deck which I didn't see coming. A deck which I don't think many of you saw coming. But a very, very fun one indeed. And it's all built around Lapras... And Unknown Hand. It's a very strange deck, ladies and gentlemen. So let's have a gander, shall we? We should probably start with Unknown Hand. Now, Unknown Hand, very fun card. Once during your turn before you attack. If this is your active Pokemon and you have 35 or more cards in your hand, you may win the game. It says you may use the ability. I'm not entirely sure why you wouldn't. I suppose the lone exception is... If you're in game one and you want to win as slowly as possible because you're unsure about game two, maybe. But no, you're just going to win the game. So cool. So what we need to do is get 35 or more cards in our hand. How do we do that? Well, one way we can try and win is maybe with Lapras. Lapras has a lovely ability once during your turn before you attack. You may put a Misty's Favor card from your discard pile into your hand. Well, that's kind of nice, Misty's Favor. Lovely new supporter card we got in Unified Minds. Let's you search your deck for free supporters and put them into your hand. Okay. Still not entirely sure how we're winning the game here, if I'm honest with you. Because Lapras gets your Misty's Favor, and, and Misty's Favor gets your free supporters. But we need 35 cards in hand. We're not even playing four Lapras, incidentally. So, um, that's kind of annoying. And the only other Pokemon we're playing here is two copies of Giratina. Now, I'm going to spare you the suspense because we're not playing any energy here. So Giratina's never attacking. Giratina says, once during your turn, before you attack, if this Pokemon is in your discard pile, you may put it onto your bench. If you do, put one damage counter on two of your opponent's bench Pokemon. And... Fine, you can use this to get a bit of damage on the field, but let's be honest, right? You got two Giratina, and you're not playing any cards to reuse them. So, okay, maybe they get KO'd a couple times. You're not taking prizes, right? So it doesn't matter. You can give up five prizes. So you can get a few Giratina KO'd and then bring them back from the discard pile onto the bench and drop a bit of damage around, but you're not going to really do enough. No, ladies and gentlemen... Here, really, your Pokemon are for consistency. And Giratina's there so you can keep coming back onto the bench. So you've always got a bench Pokemon. You do not want to get benched out. Yes, you can give up five prizes, but you cannot let your opponent KO all of your bench. So Giratina really here is just to make sure you've always got a bench Pokemon. So how do you win? The answer is clay. Yeah. I had to look at this deck list for a, a minute or two to really see it. But take a quick look at the deck list. What do you see, ladies and gentlemen? And what you should see is five Pokemon, ten supporters, zero energy, 45 item cards. That, ladies and gentlemen, is how this deck wins. Now, I should remind you that Clay is a new supporter card and it's going to be coming in Cosmic Eclipse. And what Clay does is you discard the top seven cards of your deck, but you put all item cards revealed in this way into your hand. So Clay just becomes draw seven. Now, if you compare that to something like Professor Magnolia, which is just a reprint of Professor Sycamore with a different name, that discards your hand and draws seven. Really good for digging through your deck, not good for increasing your hand size. In a deck like this, unless you get unlucky, Clay just draws you seven. Now that is a huge difference. I mean, we've seen unknown hand decks in the past try playing stuff like Whitney. And Whitney will draw you seven cards as long as you've got three Whitney in the discard pile. The goal here is very simple. Use Clay to draw a huge amount of cards and go. It's brilliant. And now these other cards make sense. Giratina is literally just to stop you running out of bench Pokemon. Lapras here searches Misty's. And Misty searches you clay. And honestly, 
It also searches you, Lieutenant Surge's strategy, so that you can play two supporters in one turn. Two clay, in fact. So what you do is you use Misty to grab Lieutenant Surge, Clay, and Clay, and then the next turn you should be drawing 14 cards. That's pretty gosh darned wonderful. And except for Misty's Clay and Lieutenant Surge, you play one copy of Gladian. Just get stuff out of the prize. If you got something prized, you don't want prized. Simple as that. Now, in terms of the item cards here, what we're trying to do is not use them if we can help it. We want to keep them in our hand. But the goal here very simply is play clay every turn, build up our hand size, and also take advantage of Lily's polka doll. You see, Lily's polka doll, it, it's basically just a reprint of RoboSub. With the only difference being, if you want to discard RoboSub from the active, it's discarded, whereas Lily's polka doll goes on the bottom of your deck. Which is nice, because then you've got more cards in your deck to try and draw. Cool. Sits in the active doesn't give up a prize. You can let a few Giratina go down. You can let five Giratina go down, just don't let your six Pokemon go down. But what you do here is you try and get Lily's polka doll in the active, so that your opponent KOs it, but they don't actually take a prize. Cool. So, let's run through the item cards very quickly and see what we're playing and why we're playing them. Order pad, we play four of these. The vast majority of these are four offs. We play four order pad, largely for getting out our Clefairy doll or one of the others we desperately need. We play three Poker Gear 3.0 and four Pal Pad so that we can get clay and get clay back. You can also use it to recover other supporters, of course, but really these are here to make sure you can use clay as early as possible. Four Nest Ball are used to get your basics out of your deck, because really what you want is all your basics in hand or on your bench, so that you're not discarding them with clay. So you're drawing more cards. We got four copies of Rescue Stretcher, so that if you do discard them with clay, you can use Rescue Stretcher to put them into your hand. Four copies of U-Turn Board to get yourself, well, just free retreat, to be honest with you. And because when they get discarded from play, oh, look, they go back to your hand. That's very nice. It will also give free retreat to Lapras because you want your Lapras on the bench. You don't want your Lapras in the active. We've got a couple copies of Escape Rope because, again, we want to make sure we've got Lily's Polka Doll in the active. So we are playing a bunch of cards here to make sure that what's in the active is Lily's Polka Doll, not Lapras. One Lana's Fishing Rod lets you shuffle a Pokemon tool and a Pokemon into your deck. It's kind of cool. Get stuff back. Yeah, it's just nice for recovering your stuff, if I'm honest with you. <laughs> That's what it does. We also see four copies of Stealthy Hood to stop your opponent affecting your Pokemon with abilities. The last thing we need is something like a Volcarona GX, dropping damage counters and taking out all of your Pokemon before you've had a chance to win the game. We then see four copies of Acrobike. Draw a card, discard a card. It doesn't give you a hand advantage per se, it swaps a card for another card, but what it does do is let you go through your deck a little bit faster, which is going to be really helpful for drawing in to what you need. And then four copies of Judge Whistle. No, we don't play Judge. But if you don't get a Judge back from your discard pile, you draw a card. So we use it to draw a card. Now again, you're not really getting a card advantage from Judge Whistle, because you discard Judge Whistle and you just draw a card to replace it, but what you're doing is cycling through your deck. And the way this deck wins is make sure that you've got Unknown Hand, incidentally that's also why we need so many Rescue Stretcher and Lanas, we cannot have our Unknown Hand gone, and similarly that's why we play Gladian, because if your Unknown Hand is prized you literally can't win the game, so you need it. We've then just got a whole bunch of cards that are designed to get clay every turn, get Lily's polka doll in the active every turn, and just keep this rolling. And that's how you win. Lily's polka doll in the active not giving up prizes, clay drawing seven cards a turn, and then before you know it, oh look, you've won the game.
Now, it's nice that those two Lapras will essentially give you two extra cards in hand with your Misties. That's a nice little bonus. And maybe there's an argument for playing more. But remember, you need the bench space here for Lily's Poké Doll. You don't want to be having a desperately dig for one. I love this deck. Yes, you play a Reset Stamp. And yes, you are very vulnerable to Reset Stamp. But most decks only play one or two Reset Stamp. So yes, they can hurt you once, but in theory, you can still keep doing what you're doing and maybe be able to recover. I love inventive decks, and this one makes me very happy indeed. Also, incidentally, yes, it did win a tournament. All the Japanese decks I'm showing you have won tournaments. But at this stage, I'd like to know what you think about this deck. So let me know in the comment section. Go nuts! Be nice. And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wasi, and Twitch for some live action at twitch.tv slash ptcg radio if you want to support the channel get some bonus podcasts and all that head on over to patreon.com slash ptcg radio where you can do exactly that and please do make sure you're checking out youtube.com slash wassy plays where we talk about a whole bunch of games that don't even have any pokemon in but by far the most important thing as always look after yourselves till next time thank you very much for watching my name is ross and you've been watching ptcg radio